Glad you came in. Glad to see you. When you come into our facility and you need a brace, you could say that in some way you lack the control of your legs, which is what we specialize in, or arm, occasionally, where you need help maintaining a position. So we offer a lot of different styles. The most important single factor or process is, in fact, determining the correct amount of bracing for somebody. How much stability do you actually need to be functional? Not too much, not too little. So really choose a style of brace that allows as much motion as the patient can manage. And that would take walking, observing, manipulating, etc. That's a very important part of getting a brace made for you. That's where the planning comes up with an idea that in theory will help you walk or benefit the most from it. Once we've decided on a style of brace, we measure the patient with a cast or we wrap her leg in a fiberglass casting material, similar to if she'd broken her leg. That gives us a three-dimensional measurement of her leg, and I also applied a correction, because the brace needs to hold her foot in the best position of function. The foot will be nicely balanced. The ankle will be in a position where their weight is over the foot. That cast, then, is used to create a mold. That's modified. The mold is modified to create more space over areas that need a little more room, a little more support in areas that can benefit from being supportive. The details for her braces are optimized for comfort, uh, the sewn-in instep pad, the color choices for the padding, which is cosmetic, the flexibility of the back piece, the height of the trim lines, all of that is specified in the order. That mold, then, that we create from the cast is used to fabricate the actual brace. The foam pads are put in place for comfort, and the plastic is pulled to create the stability and the flexibility of the original design. All of that is done with the anticipation that it will work when the patient comes back in. We try it on, we get to see how does it actually fit. There's a lot of things that can be slightly off. We not only want to see if it's comfortable, but we want to see if it moves well with the patient. So we'll be looking for comfort, and we'll be looking for function. Does the brace move like we expected? Does it put the patient in a place where they feel comfortable? Do they get their function uh, restored like they anticipated, or is it off? some way. If you're new to bracing, it's very hard to judge because it's all a new experience. With some patients, there's a lot of discussion as to level of stability, what types of movement are they interested in, but because she's worn so many of these, she knows almost exactly what she wants, can judge a brace really quickly. But in a period of two to three weeks, most people, observers, parents, certainly the person wearing the brace, will have a sense whether the device is being useful, whether it's helping them function in some anticipated way, usually walking, running, sitting, standing, transferring, weight-bearing is the most common function. We're here to maintain the brace uh, over the usually the year to year and a half that it'll fit a teenager, uh, slightly less than a year on a young child, and we also will help with the initial fitting where first two, three, four weeks sometimes there's some pretty intense adjustments as the braces sort of get settled in, the person gets used to how they feel. The first fitting there isn't a lot you can find out. They usually have to find some shoes, they haven't worn it enough to develop any soreness. It's similar to buying a new pair of shoes. Uh, you can tell whether it sort of feels good, but the, the next few days will tell you a lot. Still too high in the back? The heel lifts too high. Usually it takes a family at least two weeks to build up full wearing time if they're fairly new to braces and kind of confirm that everything's working. Well, they leave with a brace. It's always kind of exciting. You're hoping that this project delivers a type of function that makes everybody happy. It's certainly not done when they leave. It's like 80% done. It's always a time of sort of anxiety, hopeful anxiety that you want the thing to succeed. You take the braces personally. You have a lot riding on it. You want to feel like the braces are going to make a difference, so you're excited and hopeful. It's the beginning of hopefully that brace those braces working for her very, very well.